Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can track the processed data using job bookmarks. Okay, so in the sense this particular concept is related to incremental processing. Okay, so generally whenever we build ETL pipeline, then in the injection process there are majorly two kind of injection we do. One is full refresh or full load. That is, we truncate the target system and we load the complete data from source to target. Another kind of load is incremental load. That is, whatever data got changed in the source system, maybe inserted, updated, these kind of events occurred in source database, or maybe files are getting generated from source. And those modified data or newly created data alone, we try to load from the source to the target. So that is termed as incremental load, right? So these are two major classification in the in ingestion process. Similarly, where you are transforming the data, okay, by applying several business logics, you are curating the data, you are processing the data. In that layer also, you can kind of classify the processing into two parts, okay? One is normal processing, that is process the complete stuff or else what you can do, if your business logic is not dependent on the past data or earlier run data then you can only process the newly ingested data okay that is kind of you can consider as incremental processing okay and job bookmark in glue helps us to achieve that one how to work with this one what is the bit theory all this i am going to discuss in detail in this video okay so aws glue tracks the data that it had already processed during the previous run of an ETL job by persisting state information from the job run, okay? So, in simple words, AWS Glue has a service which is called job bookmarking and that basically track the data which is already processed in the previous ETL run, okay? And that service name is job bookmarking, okay? And it basically helps Glue to maintain the state information and prevent the reprocessing of old data okay so only using this particular service only i will process the newly ingested data that's it right and with job bookmark you can process new data when running a job on scheduled interval right that, that's the simple concept now job bookmarking either you can enable if you are reading the data from s3 or if you are reading the data from different RDS or RDBMS systems, then also you can play with job bookmarking. Okay. So in this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can use job bookmarking to incrementally process the data from S3. Okay. And in my upcoming videos, I am going to discuss how you can incrementally process the data from different RDBMS source systems. Right. So there are certain things you must have to keep in mind. If you are writing the glue job or ETL script for job bookmarking, okay, that is for incremental processing. And that is in the beginning of this script, you must have to write job.init, okay. And in the ending of this script, you must have to write job.commit, okay. Bookmark won't work without calling these two important steps, okay. And these are used to initialize the bookmark service and update the state change when your job is completed. It is just like you can think in our SQL, it is like transaction, okay, begin and commit, begin and roll back like we write. Same like that way, here in the beginning, we have to write job.init, at the end, we have to write job.commit, okay. Apart from that, here you can see, wherever I have applied any transformation, like here, what we are doing, we are reading the data. That time here, I have passed one transformation context, okay. Similarly, here we are applying some mapping. There also I have applied one transformation context. Here we are writing the data in JSON format in S3. There also I have applied one transformation context. Okay. This is another very important part if you are working with job bookmarking. Okay. It is nothing but an optional part if you are working on any transformation related function on glue dynamic frame. And these are nothing but acting like unique identifier for your ETL job. Like you can see here, this when you are reading the data, then transformation context value is data source 0. 
here when you are reading it is having the value apply mapping one like that unique identifier values it takes and internally it basically helps to identify the state information for your job run to save this state information and to maintain the job bookmarking so that it can understand okay this part i have already processed this is the new part which i have to process for all the back end stuffs the transformation context is used so in simple words you have to remember whenever you are applying any kind of transformation or etl operation on your glue dynamic frame make sure you are passing this optional parameter transformation context okay which is unique identifier for our etl operations in different steps right so keeping these concepts in mind let us directly jump into the implementation section okay without any further delay so what i will do first first i will create a s3 bucket okay so our pipeline we are going to create like this way our csv data is coming every day using ingestion process incremental data is coming and we have to convert that csv data to parquet data okay so this particular conversion from csv to parquet is not dependent on the past data right only today's data it is depending right the complete detail process can completely or perfectly can work with incremental data only it is not dependent on older data right because just we are transforming from one format to another format because parquet is more efficient because it is columnar file format so it takes lesser space to uh, store the data so from the storage point of view it is optimized then it is columnar file format so from the query execution point of view also it is optimized right so many time business intelligence team or big data team prefer to store the data as parquet so whenever our data is coming we want to convert that from csv to parquet okay and we want to convert in such way that only newly ingested csv files we have to convert to parquet it is not like older files also again will be converted to parquet and dumped in target okay only today's run whatever new csv file came those alone have to be converted okay so i can create the bucket name where our csv data will be landed as csv landing native okay some name i am giving and here i will create the bucket so here our csv data will be coming then i'll be creating another bucket where our parquet data will be stored okay so parquet data demo job bookmark okay right now what i will do i will first upload some amount of data in csv okay suppose this is our historical data so that data i will be taking from snowflake so i will execute a query and the query result set i'll be downloading and i'll be uploading that as csv file okay so this is the downloaded one and i will upload that perfect right now what i will do i will open aws management console in a new tab and i will go to glue service okay first what i will do i will run a glue crawler to crawl the data in our sc data lake and it will create a glue catalog table okay so obviously job bookmark you can use in both ways either if you are reading the data from directly s3 as raw or you are reading the data from glue catalog okay but generally it is always suggested if possible use glue catalog okay because that is kind of tabular data you can query the data using athena the sql power you are giving to your data lake right so i prefer also crawler only a crawler catalog format so i will just create a crawler which will crawl the data and then what i will do i will upload another csv file here only and i will show you next time when i will run the etl pipeline it will only convert the csv from csv to parquet the newly ingested csv not the older one okay so i will add the crawler crawler name demo yt job bookmark and then i can go to next and here also you can apply incremental crawling concept okay no need to crawl the older files so incremental crawling that is kind of one incremental process you can implement similarly incremental job using job bookmark you can also implement so that your etl pipeline will also be incremental okay because incremental crawling will just crawl the incremental data but actually overall whole data only will be stored in glue catalog right so if you are not applying job bookmarking concept and if you are using that catalog table in your etl pipeline then by default it will be reading the complete data from the s3 data lake right to avoid that we are going to use job bookmarking okay 
and as of now i am keeping it very simple so i am using crawl all folders but if you want to implement incremental crawling then you can choose the last option based on s3 event notification that's fine okay so i will choose the s3 path where our csv data is coming right and then here i can go to next next so here i can choose one existing iam role so this particular iam role already i have created it is having the glue service role s3 access and cloudwatch access i am not going to that simple stuff again because already i have covered multiple times run on demand that's fine add database i can give job bookmark demo yt okay i create the database in glue catalog so in this particular database only after crawling the table will be created which you can use for the conversion process okay so i can go to next and here i can finish this one okay that's fine now what i will do i will basically run the crawler okay once i run the crawler once the crawling will be complete then one table will be created in the database whatever we have created and then we will use that particular catalog table to read the data from data lake and convert that to parquet and we will write that back in our this particular bucket what we created okay that is this one right this is our target okay cool so let's wait for a couple of seconds let it complete already 17 seconds elapsed so that's where i was telling that you can implement incremental crawling so obviously this is historical so obviously it is going to take some time but next time onwards if you are sure that your new data is coming as new files then you can trigger a s3 event notification to an sqs queue only the new files alone the crawler will be crawling by taking the events from sqs okay that way they are also it will be optimized so here see it is in stopping state table added one so if i go to database in this database here you can see csv landing native table is created perfect right so now i'll go to job add job name i can give demo yt job okay i am role i will use the same role and then here, here a proposed script generated by glue that's fine because i am using a very simple operation csv to parquet so let glue generate that and in the advanced option you must have to enable job bookmarking then only it will work okay very very important monitor option you can enable job matrix continuing log okay no filter right all these stuff you can do i can go to next this is the source from where our data the blue job will be reading that is the catalog table then i'll go to next change schema that's fine and then here i want to store the data in s3 in parquet format okay i will take the location where our data parquet data will be stored and then here i'll go to next this is the mapping that's fine and i will go to save job and edit script okay i will just make sure one thing job initialization happening because that is required for job bookmarking here job dot commit happening and in all the operations all the etl processing whatever we are doing this transformation context is there right so we are all set with respect to the job so i will just save this particular stuff and then i will go back to job i will select this one and then here what i will do i will run this particular job okay so it is going to take some time to complete the process it is running and it is succeeded okay i can go to my target bucket and here see data can okay i can show you the parquet data also i can download the parquet data and i have opened here one particular online parquet viewer and i will upload the data whatever just now i have downloaded okay i will open this one show tables i am not a robot submit the files and here if i go below here see publish here all are 2002 okay because in snowflake itself while, while downloading this csv file i have given this condition right so here basically this particular csv data which is containing only the information related to the year 2002 that we have processed using our glue pipeline and we have converted to parquet and this parquet data only contain the information related to 2002 year okay now what we will do we will download the data for the year 2001 okay and i will download this one okay cool so it is downloaded now what i will do i'll upload the data 
and this is coming as incremental data samples okay because this data newly we are ingesting so here it is uploaded okay now both the files are there in same location right now if we are not using our job bookmarking what would happen that from glue catalog the etl pipeline will read both the files and both of them it will try to convert to parquet but actually that is inefficient because already we have converted the first file to parquet only we need to convert the second one right so that's what the job bookmark will do and now we no need to run the crawler again why i am not running the crawler again because here partitioning we are not doing schema also not change so no need to run the crawler but in actual production pipeline to make sure that partitions are up to date and schema change if it happens then it will evolve the schema with the time for that you have to make sure that you are running the crawler but as of now both of these scenario are not appearing so i am not running the crawler again rather what i will do i will run the job again okay and if i run the job again what will happen that this particular file alone it will try to read and then write in parquet format in this particular place okay so here this timing plus modified we are seeing and after the etl pipeline is complete we will see one more parquet file with some more last modified time because that will take some time right so two different timestamp will be seen so i will do that now i have selected the job and then here i will run the job okay again so this is going to take some time and then again we will try to view using this park if you are okay so i can search also here 2002 if i do 2001 no matching record found right so this particular data whatever earlier we downloaded that is containing only 2002 related information right cool so let's wait for a couple of seconds it is in running state soon it will be complete and we will see one more file is coming okay see it is succeeded if i go to parquet target here another file came okay see it is having some more last modified timestamp compared to earlier and this is 4.1 kb okay i will just click on that and i will download this one okay i have downloaded this and then here what i will do i will choose the file and i will upload this one and i will submit this one see all for all of them 2000 year is the permission if I search in 2002, currently no data is there. Only with 2001, we are getting the data. Right? So that's the beauty. So if you are not using job bookmarking, both of the files will be processed. But here, due to application of job bookmarking from S3, only the newly created files it is processing. Okay? I hope you understood this. Along with incremental crawling, if you apply this incremental processing using job bookmarking, you can surely expect huge optimization in your etl pipeline both with respect to cost and timing so try to implement this play with this and have fun along with that i'll be providing a documentation link in the description don't forget to go through that to explore more about this concept and i'll be covering some more concepts related to this in our upcoming videos till then stay tuned if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification of all latest videos Thank you for watching.